Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and welcome to my playthrough of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm pretty excited about this. I like the Tomb Raider games for not only how they look, they're outstanding. Uh, they're super smooth to play, and they have a big emphasis on stealth, which is like my type of playstyle. Really excited to dive into this one. This takes place about two months after the previous game, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And the idea here is that as Laura Croft, we are on this expedition in Latin America to try and find this relic which has a connection to our father who is unfortunately no longer with us. The problem is that that Trinity group, the ones that investigate all these supernatural things, the paramilitary organization, they're also looking for this relic. And so you can imagine we're gonna have some conflicts there. At the end of the day, it falls on us to save the world. No pressure, we're gonna try our best to do that. So without further ado, let's just jump right in here. Thanks to Square Enix for providing me with a uh, review code for the game, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. The one thing I'm gonna show you before we jump in is I've made one change in here and that's this voiceover immersion. I've got this set to on. What this means is that people are gonna speak in their native tongue. We'll still be able to understand them and they'll still be able to understand uh, us. And it just makes for a little bit more of an immersive experience in, in my opinion. Uh, so when we choose a new game, there's also some difficulty settings that we can make and I think Almost all games should take advantage of this if we can. So I'm going to change a couple of things. I'm going to leave combat difficulty on normal for now. Uh, I'm going to change exploration difficulty to hard. And that makes it so that we're not going to see those white markers on our path that we need to follow. And it's going to encourage us to investigate the environment and really pay attention to our surroundings quite a bit more. And we're also going to increase the puzzle difficulty. What this means is that we're not going to be getting hints and our survival instincts won't tell us what we can grab onto and things like that. It might be challenging, but I'm, I'm pretty interested in that. So, without further ado, let's get going. I'm going to make a recommendation to you guys. I think this is a good game for this, but it's set the vibe. And if you don't know what that means, it's lights off, headphones on, volume up, and just let yourself get into it. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was created by a diverse and talented team comprised of multiple genders, backgrounds, ethnicities, religious beliefs, and personalities. While the game is not based on real-life events and represents a work of fiction, it was developed in conjunction with the historian and cultural consultants. Cool. We are not wasting any time. Wow. Jonah, okay, so we're going back there. two days. Attention. I'm on my way. 
I won't be long. Okay, so we've been actively following Trinity already. It's good to know. Oh, look at the... Look at the cuts. Oh my god. Like, I can feel that. Shit. Let me do that. At least we see light. If you put yourself in this scenario and you don't see any light above you. Absolutely terrifying. The small spaces would already get to most. Myself included. comforting. Trinity badge, an emblem representing Trinity. A few more info. Where's that? This Trinity here? Trinity is an ancient and secretive organization ruled by an Illuminati-like High Council that has existed since the time before Christ. They are determined to find and exploit all of the ancient artifacts of the world. I've been hunting them since I found out they killed my father. Jonah and I have tracked down so many Trinity cells since then. But all of the other ruins and tombs we found were destroyed, except the one in Cozumel. I need to find out what they're after, what their end game is, and stop them. Cool. I hope we can find a lot of this kind of stuff. Whoa, what the? Okay. Jonah, I'm out. Be careful, the way into the site is full of traps. Trinity's not done with it yet. They're protecting something. Six weeks, and still no salt leads on who's leading the local Trinity cell. But I talked to some people in town, and they're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. The name's Dominguez. We should look into it. VIP Dominguez, okay. Keep our eye out. Thank God we have the upper body strength. The condition our leg is in. This is stunning. Jonah, I made it. I'm on my way in. Almost there. Sorry I didn't wait. Be careful. Look at the engravings on that, too. I don't know if that's some type of door or what you would call that, but... What's it pointing at? Oh, hello.
it's rigged. So is that... I have to assume Trinity? Laura! Wow. Get a load of this place. Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity is after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. I'm glad we followed your father's notes. I saw where the passage collapsed on you back there. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. What is all this? Constellations. This inscription is some sort of riddle. Pink fish. Pink fish? A silver crowned mountain. There's a date here. But something's off. It looks like it was damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. No, I think the damage is older. But who would have tampered with it? Whoa. Whoa, Laura. let's move! <gasps> we gotta get out of here. Laura! We have to get this. So it doesn't sound like it was Trinity who tampered with the with that thing itself, move, but move. Hurry. certainly could have trapped it. If you hadn't dragged me out, I'd still be in there taking pictures. We'd still be in there. Don't know if you'd be doing much. <laughs> hey, you want to freshen up? Regroup at the cafe. Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pink fish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe is supposed to have really good food. Wow, look at this. You know the chef. Yeah, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> After all of that, I'm starving. So I'm not sure what pink fish could be, but Silver Crown Mountain could be... Could be like a snow-covered mountain. But you would think that they would they would use white instead of silver, but we'll see. It's the day of the dead ceremony. There he is. Anything new on Dr. Dominguez? Not much. He's leading a few Trinity digs in the area. My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great guy. Big help to the town. So how's your leg? Trying to look. The riddle. It's directions. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. I, I found something for that. It's pink dolphins, found only in the Amazon. Oh. It goes on, um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver-crowned mountain. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River, Brazil. Peru. Peru? Okay, um, this date from the ruin, see? If you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an 8? With procession, it... What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000-year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking in the wrong place. Exactly. We need to look for the silver-crowned mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor, we found it. it I mean, it's so obvious when she says it all out. <laughs> Show me. Wow. You heard that too, right? Let's see where he goes. Wait, hold on. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in. That's seriously impressive detective work. 
Trinity's people are armed. I heard they brought in reinforcements. I'll stay out oh, of cool. their way. I want to avoid what happened with the last cell we took down. They must know we were at the other site. So much for a night off. Where did Dominguez go? He can't be far. He must be in the courtyard somewhere. Yeah. Let's look around. Someone must know something. Hey, Sammy. How's it going? Gracias, Jonah. This is beautiful. I love anything Day of the Dead related. Where did he go? Let's keep looking. Puedes creerlo? A este lo atraparon bebiéndose las ofrendas. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure I was just as mischievous as a child. No hay que castigarlo. El tequila se encargará de eso. Tomó bastante. That's really cool. So, with that option we were talking about earlier, they probably have a version in English as well, but I actually really like hearing the native accents or the native language. Maybe I could light one for my mother. <laughs> I'm not really used to crowds. You'd rather storm guards or the deathless. <laughs> no, this is fine. It's just what I'm used to. Jonah, he's at the gate. Good. Be sure I'm not following. I think I can find another way over the wall. I'll take care of these guys. Hey, fellas! Keep it cool, doing? Jonah. Keep it cool. Come through this way. I heard there was some kind of a crazy fiesta. Like chicks and <laughs> skull makeup. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Alright. It's not for tourists. Uh, no, you know Maria invited me. You know her? She's my cousin. My abuela, she was from here. Don't look like it. Rest her soul. Um, I wanted to make like an offering. What's that thing you do with the blankets? All right. Uh, you know what? I can see you guys are busy. I won't waste any more of your time. Y'all keep on trucking. <laughs> Thanks for your service. Keep it us safe. Jonah, I'm in. Good. Those guards weren't at the gate earlier. Dominguez must suspect something. <laughs> Excuse me. I almost don't want to say anything to disrupt the peace. Like everyone here is. Contact with the high consul. Yes, sir. Even after the fiasco in Brazil, no one questions your leadership of the organization. We've come too far to stop now. Yes, sir. They're ready for anything. Quit staring. Pardon. Jonah, Dominguez is not just the leader of the cell. I think he's the leader of Trinity. Oh, well, that's to be okay. Laura. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. I'm getting such major flashbacks to watching the movie uh, Coco. If you haven't seen it, it's all about the Day of the Dead. It's really, really good. Uh, it's an animated movie, but this has so many like the vibes of the Day of the Dead celebrations are so amazing. Someone set off a trap at the first sight. We think it was Croft. Wait, what's wrong? Oh, is he looking at I me? I want confirmation. No Whoa, focus. that was weird. I'll make sure we get visual confirmation. Do they know that Jonah, we're here? They might have noticed me. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Back, I'll find another way around. The thing is, is we don't necessarily blend in the best here. Dr. 
Señor, son muchos de sus hombres. We can never be too safe. You're very gracious. Thank you. We should go. Jonah was saying that he's like good for the town or whatever, and I guess he's probably providing jobs and things like that, but if he's leading Trinity, they probably just don't know what they're doing, like working under false pretenses. Yeah, this is Commander Rourke. Dominguez Whoa. wants confirmation Croft is here. You have the photo. Female, Caucasian, early 20s. You got that? Well, good. They'll find her. Good. I don't want anyone getting you there. Okay, yeah, they're on to us. Pretty safe bet. Oye, fuera de mi oficina! Sorry. Cierra la puerta al salir. Right. Okay. Nice office you have here, buddy. Lo siento! Don't worry. Go. Play. The readings at the site are unlike anything we've ever seen. It's the key to our next phase. If this is it, we'll be ready. I feel like the Trinity group, they're always working on, like, the next phase of their plan. It's always the next phase. Something big's happening. It's the next phase. Jonah, they've entered the dig site. It's fenced off and there's a guard at the gate. I'll find another way in. I found a good spot. I'll watch the perimeter. Okay, so we've got a map. Oh, cool. Okay. It's like a top-down view of... Oh, that's really neat. Wow. Okay. Jump, and then jump again to scramble. All right. We're ditching that? Oh, here There's we go. Got to be more to these ruins. All right. I wouldn't mind keeping the mask, to be honest. A Maya pyramid inside some sort of cave. The hell? the ruins. Should be far enough out of your shot. No, no, please. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. It's your own fault. Oh, he's beating somebody. Come on. Stop the execution. I have it. to take down enemies. Oh. Sleep. Wait, wait. Yes. I I'm a government official. I'm supposed to be here. A little bit of a murder bush situation. Lead archaeologist. Your employment has been terminated. Please. Aim the bow. No, I have money. I can tap pay. it to lose silent arrows or hold it to charge. I guess I gotta hold it here. Oh. They say he's the lead archaeologist. No, you. So he's... you work for Trinity. What did they find? Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it. I have to go warn my sister. She's on her way here now. Uh oh. It's interesting because Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Oh god. I have to find what they're looking for. This is Commander oh, hello. Search inside various containers for common resources. Blackout. So even if they were working for them for years to find this, it doesn't feel real. Salvage to craft destructive handheld objects and to upgrade weapons. Right on. It doesn't feel real until something actually happens. And now that they found it, he's like, oh my god. Well, plus he was getting beat, right? And threatened to be killed. But even still, the gravity of the situation doesn't come into play until something actually happens. Looks like that's where we want to be going. Let me just see if there's other salvage back here. Yep. 
feathers, first aid, looks like pelts of some kind. Okay. You hear that beeping? So now, one of the options that we changed, there would likely be like a white marker here, showing us that this is where we need to be going. I really like with that being off. That's super cool. It just feels like a little bit more immersive. Ishel, the goddess of the full moon. Oh, and this is Shakshel, the new. It's an inscription. Shakshel, the key lies beyond her gaze. Key. This is it. The entrance must be down there. Oh, yeah. I've got to make my way down. An illustration of the Ishel moon and goddesses. Ishel are two faces of the same goddess. Ishel is the young woman and represents life and healing. She's associated with the full moon. Shakshel is the old woman and represents death. She is associated with the new moon. Together as the twins, symbols of duality in the cycle of life and death. I love that Laura actually tells these stories too. The Hydra constellation. In the Maya long count calendar, all oh, dates look at have this. five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13. But what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. So what is it that says examine to find hidden information? And you hear like that little shimmering sound. I think that's related to this, but it's not showing me anything else. Not yet anyway. Maybe we'll come back to this. Jonah is a survivor and a good friend. I met him several years ago on my first expedition on board the Endurance. He made me laugh the first time I spoke to him, calling me Little Bird. We've been through so much since then. <laughs> That's an understatement. I lost touch with my best friend Sam, Jonah was always there for me. He came with me to Katesh and helped me find the divine source, the artifact my father was looking for when he was killed. After I destroyed the divine source to keep it from Trinity's hands, Jonah helped me hunt them down, cell by cell. When I finished deciphering my father's notes, Jonah thought the Cozumel was the best place to start. At first, I didn't believe him, but he was right. The site in Cozumel was the only one we found that wasn't destroyed. Now I know why. Trinity knows there's a piece of the puzzle missing, and I need to find out what it is before they do. Love, Jonah. Look at this, man. Going down. Repelling. Uh, press left or right to repel down from climbable walls. Okay, this should work. Oh, nice. Drop from repel C. It's closer to the edge than I'd like it to be. <laughs> Right. Whoa. This is Commander Rourke. I want the site secured ASAP. When Dr. Dominguez arrives, we all go in together. Okay, so they haven't been inside yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm going for it. Whoa.
I love getting around in here. This is so cool. Uh, where am I trying to get to, though? Is there something I can grab over here? Oh, hold on. Whoa. Can I swing? Oh, I can. A and D to move back and forth. Gain enough momentum to jump the gaps. Wow. Okay. No stress, no stress. The statue is looking at that cave. Can I swing? Ah, uh, here we go. Hold left or right and swing back and forth to build momentum. Yeah, there we go. Just getting around in here is going to be so intense. Look at that. Jonah, I'm entering a cave. We may lose contact. Copy that. I'll keep an eye on Trinity out here. Brownish cap mushroom with thick stem used for endurance mixtures. Okay. So it's highlighting all the things that we found so far. Loosing arrows and then just like any tutorial based stuff. This cave looks like it's usually underwater. That's one I could have figured out for sure. <laughs> murals. Examine murals to increase understanding of ancient dialects. Okay. Depiction of a Mayan journey. This mural depicts some kind of voyage or pilgrimage undertaken by the Maya. Seems they carried an item of great import and traveled south to the source of the pink fish. The pink dolphins. The Amazon River, just like Jonah said. Thank God for Jonah. Rope pulling. Uh, use left or right trigger or right click to aim, left click to loose arrows and pull objects. Yeah, thank you. The carvings on this Maya monolith are far too deteriorated to read. Mm. So it looks like we can go through there, or we can go up top, maybe? No, maybe we can't fit through there. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Jeez. We are going to need to be on the ball. Oh, that is a thing we could do. <laughs> That's cool. Knock down five death whistle carvings? Is that something we should be looking for? I wonder if it would have just shown us that we could do that there. It was just like the color was slightly up. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine that. No thanks. is this place? Holding cells. Look at this. You can hear like it's got to be bats. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I mean, I imagine we could swim in here. I don't have to be too paranoid, I don't think. Oh, is that right? Hold on, I just want to see if there's anything else down here. Oh, yep. So there's like a ton of different things that will help us get supplies, it looks like. Okay, hold space to ascend or hold control to dive. Tap left shift or hold left or right to increase speed. Whoa. Do we have like an idea of how much air we have? There's like a whole bunch of stuff down here. There's a path that way. But I'm just, I'm not sure. I don't want to miss anything up here either, so. Let's just check the area. See what we find. So we're learning a little bit about the dialect from each of these objects. Missing gear. Uh, progress past this point requires a reinforced knife. Okay, so it's probably something underwater then. Wait, is this actually... This might be leading us up and around that side. No. Okay, I can grab that. So maybe not. Let's go under. Okay, so that's the section that we saw earlier. Which leaves us in that, heading in that direction. So let's get some air. I assume we have to. Maybe, maybe we don't, but <laughs> I don't know how that would work. Whoa. No thanks. What the hell? Oh, there's trapped air. Cool. Alright. We'll have to keep our eye out for that kind of stuff. Jeez! What the hell? Those are disgusting, by the way. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I am like very uncomfortable right now. I do not like this situation. Come on. Whoa. No thanks.
Well, we're finding a decent amount of those, at least. I have to find the temple Dominguez is looking for. Okay, so this reinforced knife is going to come into play pretty soon. Look at this. Oh, I didn't even see it. Okay, we... <laughs> wow, I did, that was... That was pure luck. Okay. I'm curious... If I do rappel down here... Is there anything going on? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Jonah, I made it. I'm in an underground temple. Good. And I'm oh. not alone by the sounds of things. That's not good. Laura, Trinity's blasting their way in. I can tell it's causing tremors. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get to the top. I don't like the way this is looking. Oh. It's all running on like counterweights. Hardwood to craft silent arrows on the run. I think I'm gonna have to change the aiming sensitivity. It's really How's it going? good. <laughs> there are really platforms sensitive. that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. You're breaking up. Got some activity here. I'm gonna get closer. Surprised you can hear me at all, but I guess we're like relatively close to the surface. I'm not sure why I want to move this, but I can tell I need to. Probably for a counterweight. Yep. Nice. Sell gold ore to merchants. Okay. That is some serious jump distance that we have. What the hell? Okay. That's enough. Tethering. When standing next to a post, loose a rope arrow at the distant coil to create a rope line. <laughs> Up we go. Something's shining down there. Thank God we get those little indicators because if we didn't, those worthy shall be sacrificed. We'd miss to the so Red many Goddess, of these. She of the waning moon and she of the waxing moon, grandmother to all, life taker and birth giver. Yeah, I see this one. It's 
still scares the hell out of me. So, remember we saw that... See that shiny thing over there? I'm not sure how we get to that. Looks like maybe we can drop down from that midsection up there. I'm not sure. Maybe, we've, maybe we'll get back there. We have another cart. I see. Can we turn this? Let's see. Let's back off of this for a sec. I wonder if we want to tether these. Yeah, there we go. The cart would tip over if I reeled it in. Rotate to operate the crank. Okay, I see. But we can't do it because we've got to rotate this thing first. Oh, I see what's going on. So this one here. This looks like it controls this wheel, which will rotate the platform. There we go. Cut this. And then we're gonna probably blast this through here. Pretty big risk, hey? Okay? Like, just winging that. Got it. Thing over there is haunting me. I wonder if I can grab that ledge. Nope. Well, hey, now we know. Okay, we actually have a path. Uh, they, this is how we want to do that. This might even get us over to that side if we really want to check that out. Can we do it? There we go. Okay, so let's see. Oh. I've got a I've got a uh 
a rock face here. Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. That's so cool. <laughs> this is going to be really challenging. Oh, wow. What is this now? Okay, some supplies. And Explorer Backpack. Reveals crypt, treasure chest, and survival cache locations? Okay, that was not easy to find. So that has me slightly concerned. <laughs> I'm glad that we checked that. So what this is saying is... Off to our left, we have these couple things. That's cool. I, I'll be pretty, like, organic in the way that I search for stuff. I'm not a uh, completionist by any means. Can I get to this wall, though? Oh, no. Okay, well... <laughs> that's really gonna be difficult, but... This is kind of a good way of experimenting early. Oh, boy. Now, I don't even know... Do we still have... Let's see here. Yeah, okay, so these are marked now for us, which means we do, in fact, have that, so I don't have to go back there. So if we are able to get it, even if we die afterwards, we'll be able to uh, figure it out. Okay, so here's what we want to do to get up here, I think. Oh, cool. This doesn't look very stable. That's fine. We're an expert, so no problem. Whoa, hard pass. And it looks like we can probably rappel down from here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Jonah. Yeah, I'm here. Jonah, there's a mural here. It shows a box. Inscription says, The Silver Box of Ishel. That must be what's in the hidden city. This is a Maya myth. It says the box will summon the god Kukul Khan. The creation god. Is that what Trinity's after? Wait, there's more. Looks like a series of cataclysms. A tsunami, a storm, an earthquake, volcanic eruption. So much for the god of creation. Well, in my belief, Kugel Khan is the god of creation and destruction. Hmm. This looks like the Hydra constellation, but the stars seem out of alignment. A dagger. There's an inscription. The key to Ishel's heart unlocks the cleansing. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Hey, shit! Laura, Trinity guards are coming your way. Time to go. Oh. What 
have we done? It's impossible to resist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What have you done? You know Shit. damn right this is bad news, bears. Jonah, get to higher ground. Oh no, you took it, didn't you? Hurry. This dagger is the key of Shackshell. I found an inscription near it. The key to Eshell's heart unlocks the cleansing. Oh god. They're on their way. Who? Dr. Dominguez and more men. Apparently we found what we're looking for. Great. See it again. Yeah, that's what the reinforcements are for. Found our way out pretty quickly, thank yes, god. I heard you, okay? Dominguez is coming tonight. I get it. What I'm telling you is the rain is gonna flood the What the fuck do you think I'm doing? Checking on the water pump right now. Oh, look at us blending in here. Vine wall okay. movement. Use the movement Let's keys sure to move along vegetation covered walls while remaining hidden. Oh. And sleep. Yes, vine walls. Yes. Answer me. You uh, with that pump yeah, pump's doing great. <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't have taken him. Maybe we should just... Come and help me get these lights ready. Went through on our own. Operation Blackout has been initiated. None of the local workers can leave the site alive. Oh, they're going to kill them all? Ah, fuck. We've planned for this. Make sure the perimeter's secure. What do you think is in there? I don't know. Stay close to vegetation-covered walls, for, so it'll just kind of like just suck us sure in the there. Perimeter is secure when Commander Rourke gets here. We'll be ready. Press Q to activate survival instincts. Enemies highlighted in red are visible to others, and those highlighted in yellow are isolated. Objects can be thrown to distract enemies. There we go. Fuck. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll fix it. Do the bodies just disappear? This is way too long. If Dominguez has to wait for us when he gets here, it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Grab it, hold it, and aim. What's happening at the gate? Wait. Something's up. I'll investigate. Outpost. On something, we'll advise. Hey. Whoa. Get in here with me, buddy. Come on, come on. <laughs> Got him. Copy that. Your privileges have been revoked. Whoa. Piece of fabric useful for crafting special arrows, molotovs, upgrading weapons, and restoring outfits. Have to be quick. All right, let's dispose of the bodies. You, monitor the police van. Let us know when the gunshots get reported. York and the reinforcements are on the way. I want everything ready when they get here. Goddamn archaeologists. <laughs> Into the vines. Yeah, they've been trying to warm out our intentions here for ages. Well, they found out tonight. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, assholes should have minded their own business. Base camp, this is Gamma Leader. Where's our back? What were you saying about base camp? Oh, we can grab him from here? Yes, please. What am I doing with the helicopter right next to me? It's stuck! <laughs> Later tonight. 
Last thing we need is for some gung-ho cop to lob a grenade over the wall, right on top of them. Where are the reinforcements? We can't hold this gate alone. We need a bigger project. So much pressure, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, now that was what? close. I guess we just wait it out? Yeah. Uh, hold middle to craft shrapnel really grenade. We're supposed to be securing that wall. Load it up. Well, now they're definitely concerned. My watch, boys. She's killing our people. Fuck. Copy that. Target sighted. Excellent team. Always needs a helicopter. Oh, we have like actual weapons. whatever I can. I actually want to go in here and see what's up. If anything. Come on. There she is. Oh no. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Stop. Don't hurt her. You want a visual confirmation? Now All he's right, got it. Way I hope with me. You know I've been interested in your work. Trinity always is. <laughs> the key of Sasha. I've sacrificed my life for this. the silver box of Isha. Give it to me. It's in a safe place. You don't have it. It never occurred to me that you would just take this key and the silver box, we can remake the world without weakness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this. But without the box, the apocalypse, the death of the sun. You're lying. Lara, you felt it when you took the key. Tremors are common. Yeah, but they were a little more pronounced Scott, after we ripped that thing out of there. This is the first of many catastrophes you're doing. You would have done the same. And the murals were showing that there were going to be like. Oh, God. Yeah. 
disasters. By taking the key, you set the apocalypse in motion. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. Whoops. <laughs> oh, whoa. What? That's not gonna hold. Oh, maybe it is. We got this, we got this, we got this. Air. We'll see the we see the light, so we'll have to kind of look for those tiny symbols. Come on. Is this open? Nice, we can go through. Yeah, I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to feel the panic. Almost out of here. Trusting instincts. Hold on, buddy. Oh, are you freaking serious? Wow. Look who it is. Jonah! Laura? 
I was so worried. I failed. Wes. What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. I lost it. Yeah, not only did we After set this all in motion, and then we lost the dagger, too. Exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it into what? I don't know. He, he thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. A man like that, we... We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first, we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go! I'm the only one! You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Laura! Not everything is about you! These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we got to go on? A riddle? We're going to need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I'm going to help these people. And then I'll find us a plan. He's not wrong. You can't help but feel the guilt, though, you know? <sighs> wow. Guys, I think this is where we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys very soon with uh, more of these. And if you don't mind, since it's the first video in the series, if you could drop a like, that helps me a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, consider subscribing to everybody that supports me. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.